Good evening my fellow role players and here we are in Octam to continue our story in Legend of Legaya. Let's see if there is a store. I believe uh, there is a store somewhere here. Do you sell something useful my good sir? No, this is for Noah. No. No. Hmm. Should we buy this? I don't know. It's really expensive. Hmm. No. Let's not buy that. Let's wait until the next city. Uh, it's pretty. It's near, so shouldn't wait too long. So to advance to the next region. We should go in here. Where is it? Where's the place that we need to go? It's here. The flying trains? Oh, they're out of operation until the mist is gone from the Caristo Kingdom. Oh, Van! I didn't know it was you. I'm sorry, you want to go to Caristo Kingdom? Of course, I'll make an exception for you. The crewmen are waiting up there. Oh, and before you go, I recommend buying plenty of doors of wind. I have some. We can definitely can buy them later. Hello, fellow. Oh, now that he has a Seru, uh, that the mist is gone, we can ride. The this thing here we go attach flying through all personnel in standard flight positions let's go let's get out of this place that didn't last so long i think the first region lasted uh, more more episodes i mean more videos because i uh, didn't skip many battles then but now i'm skipping mo uh, all of the normal battles so it's not uh, that long the videos i'm only doing the boss battles now i think this is the right choice to make videos uh, all right the flying siru are ready now stop stalling and get on board Yeah, because all the normal battles are really slow and there's not really much going on. They are uh, they are pretty simple. I just auto everything. Just invest instead of uh, inputting my commands, I just um, select auto every time. And that's pretty much it. And there's not really much uh, strategy. As long as you're leveled enough you can pretty much uh, go through um, through um, <coughs> the battles easily. There's Ratayu. We've done it. We liberated this almost of all of the world. So we're going to visit Noah's parents anytime this soon. And Van doesn't really have a backstory. But uh, Noah has, he, uh, she has to meet her father, mother, and Gala has to defeat G Songi, Sonji. I wonder how many Genesis three we will encounter, because I, I don't remember, I don't remember what which level I am with the Rasru. I think one is level five or six, something like that. I believe the max level is 9 for Van and 1 less for Noah and uh, 2 less for uh, Gala. That's the way it is. Why are we stopping? Go on. Van, something's wrong. The flying train stopped. That is strange. We're still in the middle of the ocean and Caristo isn't even in sight. Something is not right. Why would we stop in the middle of the ocean like this? Are we being hijacked? Now I guess there's the mist in the Caristo Kingdom, so we're stopping 
because this machine is a rule it's a zero so hey what are you doing stuck in a place like this blah 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 generic character generic blah 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 berry what what what's wrong what happened yeah they had the same face so you you know that's generic character we were just talking about it and over here and this is not good yeah the mist it's much stronger than expected, so you can go any further. The mist will start affecting our flying zero. I thought we could go farther than this. Oh, don't worry. It's a nice downhill slope from here on. We'll just unhook the gondola, and uh, with a little momentum, we'll coast right in Car into Caristo. But how will we, will we stop the gondola? We don't have any brakes. We're counting on you. These guys. Don't really care about us. Help! Uh, we're in the, the hands of uh, some dangerous people. They don't re really care. Yeah, we don't have any brakes, guys. Uh, and because uh, someone could speak to them. Um, please, someone speak. <laughs> we don't have any brakes. No! I'm the only one here in this game that has any logical uh, thinking. Really? <laughs> There's no role to here. Only the... Um, the um, villain... Or the enemies uh, have uh, some brains. The good guys just defeat them and... Uh, they're just more powerful. They don't have any brains. That's about it. <laughs> what about the flying train? Where's it? I guess it's swimming under them. Too bad the gondola doesn't have any brakes. Uh, now you think about it. Now, this guy really? But hey, those guys have a rasiru. <laughs> or oh, really, the rasiru solved everything. <laughs> Decided it, nothing can beat the rasiru by your side. <laughs> but it's only our arm. What about our body? Our everything? We will lose everything. What about Noah, our waifu? <laughs> no, break. Use the rusty rule to break some to use as brakes. Use as brakes. Stop this thing! No! Ah! I guess we will be saved now. <laughs> I thought we were going to stop for any moment. <laughs> There's some emergency emergency system to stop us, but no. Kara. What are you doing here, my dear? My lovely Kara. Kara. You're so pathetic. See what happens when you depend on those flying trains? How did you get in here, girl? You, you could have told us in which, instead of letting us uh, travel like this. I can't, get, can't keep getting you out of trouble, you know. She must have used them. Um, Flying train? How did she get in here? She must, ha must have traveled with us. What is that? I can't believe this. That's the floating castle. Castle, the, the one that sprays mist down from the sky. So, the mist generator now is moving. So it's not stay, it's stay doesn't stay in place like uh, Zeto castle and Dohati. It's flying. There's some structure there. There's a tower. This game's game loved, loves tower. Towers. There was Jeremy that has a tower. Everything has a tower here. Even the castle uh, seems to be a tower. We will probably end Dis dis disable that castle by going from the bottom and then going from up upwards. Kara, he took everything from us. <coughs> the floating castle is gone. Tell me, Kara, how are you able to travel freely through the mist? How do you escape possession by Siru when you don't have a Rasiru like us? Rasiru? What is a Rasiru all I have? Is this good luck charm? 
Kara, that's Rasenru egg now. Kara, where did you get that Rasenru egg? Oh, so that's why what you call it a Rasenru egg. I didn't know that. Kara, can I have that Rasenru egg? No, definitely not. Because she will use it. She needs it if she wants to travel. I don't think so. You know, you can have it. It's mine. <laughs> why should I give it to you? <laughs> Well, I have to get going. I have things to do. Bye. See ya, guys. Later. <laughs> Wait, Kara, where are you going? I would like to try some uh, accents, but I'm not really good with them. Sorry, that's a secret. See ya. Oh, that woman. I wonder where she got the trust through egg. I guess she found it uh, in a Genesis tree. Kara might really be a nice person after all. She helped us. Uh, I don't know about that, but she helps us, so I guess it's good. So there should be something in here. 3000 G's! It's, it's finally granted writing on the honest person sir. An attended kiosk. Buy travel kits for peace of mind. Please insert 3000. Yes, take one. Yes. If you leave something here, if you leave the money, 3000, you can come back later and get some items. I don't really know because I never, I've never come back to get it. So let's go to the next city and to move the quest, the story. Main quest, I mean, yeah. Just go north. We still haven't healed ourselves from the, from the Hattie's boss. But it's okay, there's no, just normal battle. It's not really that hard. It should be here. Look at that. That hole in the ground. Should we save? I didn't really save until now. No, let's enter. No. Finally, we can get into the city. There is mist, so it's not really safe. Pay, care, pay attention, Noah. Why? You can't even walk by yourself. Yeah, it's definitely overrun. There's the castle there, spewing mist over all the region. Silence. I can't imagine Noah saying silence. So, so this is all. I never imagined that such a huge city could be built by a human hands. This must have been built up with the power of the Shrew of long ago. The flying trains, the city itself, truly a premised pre or pre premised um, civilization. Let's see what it's like inside. Yeah, let's definitely see if we can save someone, if there's a uh, Genesis 3. No, wait, don't go all alone. You will end up... Well, well, well come on, Gala, Van Gala, let's go. Yeah, you can't stop Noah. She's a problem child. There's no arguing with Noah. Come on, we'll go, go, all go inside. Yes, let's go inside. Don't let her, let her, let her leave. We can. We should protect her. And yeah, that's the main turn off um, about Noah. She's like a child. There's a zero monster there, or at least a, a person that being altered by the mist. Wow! It's huge, Van Gala. Look, it's huge. I heard Sol was a big place, but I never, never imagined it was this big. Noah, um, but it's engulfed in the mist. Wait, I sense human thoughts. There are survivors in there. The mist is, doesn't seem to have reached the upper parts of the city. Yeah, I guess the mist is heavier than the normal air, so... But be careful, I sense indescribable depravity. Oh, that's not good. Van Gala, let's be very careful. Yeah, the, uh, I mean the... Warrior monks of Byron were sent to Saul. I hope they were still alive. 
I was saying about Noah. The main turn off about her is that uh, she, her mind is like, uh, is that of the, like of that. I mean, it's like a child. So it's not. It's really hard to get into her as a character. But she has her serious part. Van Gala, wait a minute. I mean, she 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 is cheerful, and she really does um, bring up the party. I hear something. I hear someone fighting. I mean, it's better her than Van that doesn't really have a character. Yes, I hear it too. The sound of a monster roaring and the sound of a sword. So who is it? There's someone fighting. Oh boy, it must be someone being attacked by a monster. We need to save him. Let's go help. Everyone, attack. Oh, oh, the sound stopped. Whoever it was must have been killed by the monster. And go in there instead of talking. I swear, these guys. Oh, who's this old man? <gasps> Seems like a uh, Seru that is wearing or uh, an armor. Villains! So toward trying to ambush me. Protects this from hell. Pack of Seru mon demons. Prepare to meet and tie doom. Though shall die by my astral sword. No, don't attack us, old man. Hold it! Guy! We're not going to attack you. Oh man, calm down, we're not through monsters! Yeah, we're human beings! Forgive me, I apologize. Thou art indeed human as I detect no madness in thine eyes. At least he's reasonable. I am Gadza, an old man who walks the path of carnage and bloodshed. I. At least he knows who, it is, who he is. That's good. Forgive me and my incivility as I live in such defiled land. But this demon's lair is no place for woman nor child. Hmm. What are you doing, old man? This this guy, Mar. No, of course not. Mine eyes don't deceive me. Mar is no longer of this world. Ah, I thought he was going for Noah. <laughs> I mean, uh, at least he's ho an horrible, honorable man. In the upper floors are ones who would gre greet him, make haste. I take leave of you now. He talks weird, but I guess that's, that's what defines him as an old man. That old man, Gaza. Now, there's a, there is a true do swordsman. He does not drop his guard for an instant. But, he, but his eyes, his eyes showed no emotion at all. They were lifeless, cold eyes, very disturbing. So I guess Mar, this ge this um, girl that um, Gala wa Gaza, Gaza was remembering, got killed by Seruso. He's out for revenge. That's why, why it, what I think, um, at least. But when he looked at me and called me Mar, he seemed so nice. Yeah, no, uh, he, it was uh, his beloved or... Let's go up. I want to find some people. This is totally disturbing. Every day I fight. Oh, finally. So, let's stay in the hotel and let's heal. Before, let's try to level up our magic. Let's do it with Noah. And let's sleep. Hello, lady. 280. I guess for trivia wall, that's okay. She could have asked us 300 or 600. So it's okay. I can deal with this. Oh, there's a scene. With always Noah. No Gala, no Van. The game doesn't like them. Father? Is that you, father? Noah, there's something I must tell you. What? In the past, we made a horrible mistake. I guess that's uh, her mother. 
something we could not undo. That mistake is what has devastated the world. It is also what has kept us separated for so long. Now we are praying for that mistake by being trapped in this eternal darkness of deep mist. Noah, you must undo the mistake that led to this de devastation. We can give you the power to change fate. Don't, don't give me this burden. I want just, just want to have a happy life. Noah, come to us so that we can atone. They're just putting all their problems to this, to their child. Where are you? Where should I go? I guess that's the um, strong point of the, the game. You can change fate, that's the only strong point, strong theme of this game. Noah, that's the main uh, glue that uh, keep uh, the group, the party together. If they didn't have Noah, uh, this uh, game would be pretty meaningless. With Van being silent and Gala after Songi, that's not really important because he's really, Songi is really him. It's really bad. As a, it's a bad character. Oh, hell is Kara. Start acting like a man. I wonder who she, she, she's talking to. It's Kara. Man, that's Kara's voice. Let's get in. Let's get, what, who she's talking to? Whose man is this? She's mine. Kara is mine. Every woman is mine. Let's go see. Let's go inside. <laughs> she's, she's so excited to see her. Dra any drama, anything ha that happens. Come on, one, let's go. No, you too, Gara. Well, uh, she he's been trapped for a long time inside the monastery, so I guess he's ha he's hungry for some sort of uh, um, interaction or, or drama. So who's the guy? The man next to Kara. It's he. He has a tattoo on his eyes. Grantis, I'm not saying this because I hate you. I just want you to get back on your feet. I want to grant the Grantis of 10 years ago before the mist. Well, you can't expect that, girl. The mist changes everything. Our livelihood. You can't expect everyone to not change. If you love him, you should understand. Come on. Everything I did, I did them hoping that someday you would get back on your feet. That's the wrong choice. It's all your fault. If you expect something like that, it's your own fault. I mean, I was a no good thief. I used the confusion to steal from people. Uh, that's not good. I did things that would make my parents cry if they knew. Me, a woman, I did do all those things. Don't you feel anything? Well, it. I mean, yeah, if she has to be a thief to survive, I guess, if she robbed the, only the rich people, I mean, it's, it's like um, some points for being compelling for uh, about her, I, not, I don't really know how to express this feeling, yeah, because, uh, okay, let's move on. I guess it's okay for uh, not uh, entirely but for a, a little. Nantes, you are a sorry excuse for a man. You don't have to insult him, dude. Leaving off a woman, you're no better than a pimp. Yeah, yeah. Grantis could have uh, refused his, her help. Instead, he, she, he's uh, accepting Kara's help, so. I don't know. I don't really understand it. Yeah, let's say let's make the intelligent choice. You know everything I know, Noah. Uh, let's get together. A pimp is a bad person. I get it. Grant is bad. I hate people are bad. I guess this is a bad choice about Noah. Because um, if you're down, sad, and depressed, you can't really do an intelligent move because you're really, you can't, you, you stop thinking that uh, that way. You can't really think anymore. 
you're just depressed and you can't do anything you're not thinking straight and do all these people Kara that's saying oh, you should move your the they, they, they're not being a man they're just insulting him and it's not helping it's not helping at all if you want to help it does your choice don't make it suffer don't make him suffer because of that I mean he will accept it because uh, he wants food he wants to survive he has the base base instinct to, instinct to survive but uh, they're just going at it uh, the uh, wrong way I mean I, I'll stop analyzing everything because I don't think it's not really deep the game doesn't really mean to be deep that way but let's keep it uh, light this game <laughs> why should I hit you Kara? Grantis is the one who's bad no, I don't interfere in the business. Come on, let's go outside. Yeah, let's not do this. Oh, all along this pianist was um, performing this uh, so song. But I didn't do anything wrong. Grantis is the one who's bad. No, you're the one who's bad. You don't understand the situation and you're go interrupting them. You're going into things that you don't know, Noah. Be more uh, thoughtful of things, of people, of feelings. You don't have any because you're a child. This is an adult business. You can't go sticking your nose in it. Why adults are humans too, and I'm a human? No, you're not a human. You're a child. They're not human. Childs are not human. <laughs> they are evil. I'm human just like them. I don't understand. Gala, tell me why, oh brother. Kara lives silently. You're so strange. Come on, Noah, we want to go to Corkum, right? You want to see your parents in Corkum, right? Yeah, I do, but. Okay, Kala, take care of Grantis later. So, see you guys later. Bye.